Good morning, folks. Please stay tuned until the end for a special announcement. As you watch the departing northern filament destabilize and partially collapse, a long-duration event that took place over the last day and produced no CME, I'll ask that you rewind your memory back to a few days ago when the big sunspots were just returning to the Earth-facing disk and erupting with plenty of ejecta. One of the blasts appeared to be a partial halo eruption heading for Earth. We may have seen the weak stream overnight, even without major telemetry changes, as the KP index shows we entered some shield instability overnight. Could see more today if the CME was not uniform. Solar flaring? Trying to tick back up slightly, but it was not our megaspot center disk, it was the incoming active region. The sunspots revealed that the big boy is still delta with a positive and negative interaction, but it fell silent when facing Earth, just as the new grouping came onto the southeastern limb. Remember, east and west are flipped on the sun. We've also got the southern negative coronal hole incoming, dark next to the Earth scale. It maintains some significant force to it, and has already switched near Earth's space from positive to negative influence. Quick Rosetta update. Even as the lander is without power, Rosetta itself is still orbiting and is just beginning to start its longer mission of watching the comet activity as it approaches perihelion. Link is below. The Indian Ocean cyclone has weakened a bit in the last day, still heading for Madagascar there. In the US, we've still got the terrible winter storm in the northeast with Pacific flows coming further onto land and a heat and moisture flow in the south. Our terrible weather up north will continue from east to west, as we've also got the chance for storm activity in the south where that hotter flow was seen. Small Atlantic low just off Spain and Portugal with that same flow to the east also pushing up to meet a flow that goes south of Norway. The Atlantic system is confined to that coastline, while you can see the purple watch areas in the east extending up through the continent. Down under, these western convergences will shift east a bit tonight, and the northeast system is weakening with a convergence reaching up to the South Island of New Zealand as well. Purple is where your wary watching is warranted. Mobile Observatory Project comes to Raleigh today. We'll be at the Whole Foods in Cary from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come hang out and get some healthy food while you're at it. Folks, a special announcement. Later today, Billy and I will try to hop on Google Plus Live for a discussion of the turning tide. Two years ago, our position on climate extremes was laughed at, but on the heels of record cold, record snow, and multiple fatalities, we will summarize the latest major scientists to sit on our side of the fence. What began as a handful is now hundreds of screaming nerds like me. It is the single most important mistake that climate science has ever made. Climate change is real. Human pollution needs to stop. But the party line on our changing planet is dead wrong. Don't miss our live event right here online this afternoon, a few hours after our Raleigh meeting. Got shots of our star to close? It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.